Today is a day unlike any other. It is a time to dream and sing. It is a day when we remember and take part in the birth of Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. Now, before we get any further, you may have heard another version of this story, the one with the wise people. Well, I've done my research, and this was the way the story of Jesus was handed down to me. So if you want to hear about the wise people, you'll have to stay tuned for Matthew's version next year. Our story for today begins a long, long time ago with the prophet Isaiah. Hear ye, hear ye. For the people that have walked in darkness have seen a great light. A child has been born for us, a son given to us, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Almighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Whew, that's a long name. All those years ago, Isaiah foretold that God would come down to earth as a man. But as the years went on, people wondered if God would ever appear on earth. Then, one day, an angel visited two families. The news this angel brought would change their lives forever, and our lives too. Zechariah was an old man, a holy man. He and his wife prayed every day that God would bless them with a child. Years went by, but no child came until one very special day. Do not be afraid. God has heard your prayers. Your wife Elizabeth will bear a son, and you will name him John. He will bring many people closer to God. How can this be, for I am an old man and my wife is getting on in years. <laughs> I am the angel Gabriel. God sent me here to deliver this message. But since you did not believe my words, you will be unable to speak until the day your son is born. Elizabeth, Zachariah's wife, did indeed conceive a son. Zechariah, God is so good. The Lord has looked favorably upon us and granted us a son. The angel visited Mary next, a young woman who was engaged to a man named Joseph. Mary, the Lord is with you. Who are you? What are you doing here? 
Don't be scared, Mary. I'm an angel sent by God. I'm here to tell you that you'll have God's baby. God will be with you. Mary was scared, but she was also excited. She took a deep breath and stood up tall. Here I am, a servant of the Lord. I will love and care for God's son. By the angel's news, she immediately went on a journey to share this holy news with her cousin, Elizabeth. <coughs> Surprise! <laughs> when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, Elizabeth's baby jumped in her womb. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and both women were filled with joy. Mary, you are blessed because you trust God. And your baby is blessed too. The prophecy will be fulfilled. Mary was moved to sing and rejoice in, her, in God, her Savior. For Mary's child to be born, the emperor wanted to count all the people in their hometowns. Mary and Joseph had to pack their things quickly so they could travel to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, it was crowded. Many people were traveling also. Suddenly, Mary realized it was time for the baby to be born. They needed to find a place to stay, fast. Excuse me, my wife and I need a place to stay. You and everyone else in the 
this town. My inn is full. My wife is about to have a baby. Please have mercy on us. Well, I do have a stable. It's full of my animals, but it's... But there's hay to lay on and a manger for the baby. I'm sorry, but it's the best I can do. This is our home. We are happiest here with Jesus the Messiah. When baby Jesus was born, they wrapped him in cloth and laid him in the hay. They looked at the baby and smiled at the miracle God provided. night in a nearby field, shepherds were guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, they saw something bright, something amazing. It was the angel. They were scared, but somehow they knew they should not run away. Do not be afraid. I have good news. Tonight, the Messiah has been born. His name is Jesus. You will find him in major, wrapped in cloth. Just then, something wondrous happened. A choir of angels, angels appeared, singing and praising God. Glory to God in the highest heaven. Glory to God. 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 Quickly, let's go see the Messiah. I think the major's this way. The shepherds hurried to see the baby Jesus and gazed upon him with love. When they saw that the good news about the baby Jesus was true, they ran through the hills shouting, Jesus is born.
This is the end of our story, but it is also the beginning. Jesus grew up to be loving and kind. He taught all of us how to love God and each other. He's still with us, even tonight. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Let us love and praise and follow him. Thank <laughs> you.